It's time to buckle up because this video is about to be an hour long. Why? It's time to fight the fud. It's time to fight the fud, guys. Fight the fud. It's time to fight the fud. So, we see here from Max Kaiser, XRP centralized S. As you can see uh, plainly, as you can plainly see from this patent, guys. Okay. So where did it all begin? This is. This video is about to be an hour long, guys. I'm not trying to sit here for an hour though. I mean, this this is a crazy timeline. You guys ready? It's Bitcoin Maxis and the ETH Maxis. Your time has come. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Kaiser says Ripple SEC lawsuit aimed at killing XRP. It was never about law. So this is where it all began, guys. Right? Kaiser Ripple SEC lawsuit to kill XRP. So we go back here. Johnny Deason comes out. Uh, well, in, I think in the article it uh, uh, quoted Kaiser. Kaiser's remark attracted Deason's attention. The pro XRP lawyer agrees with Kaiser that the SEC chair Gary Gensler is protecting the incumbents and the status quo. End quote. Now, Johnny Deason says I might have to take a trip to El Salvador, visit Bitcoin, and buy Max Kaiser a drink now that we agree on something, right? But if you go back here, the timeline just keeps getting crazier, guys, because the problem is that Kaiser celebrates and applauds the SEC for this because, in his view, it is good for Bitcoin. Wow. Just as government suppressing... David, now, David Schwartz, guys, well, this is crazy, I'm telling you, right? The XRP army has risen. It's time to f fight the FUD, guys. What is this? Version 3? Round 3? Round 30th? Round 100, guys? I'll need, I can't even keep count at this point, right? So, David Shores comes out just as government suppressing Bitcoin might be good for incumbent banks and non uh, and non bank financial institutions. It's selfish and despicable, but you can't deny its effectiveness. Hmm. I I suppose. Wait, but wait a minute. When we talk about banks and such guys, I was going to put this off for later. Check this out. From Steven. Cannot make any of this stuff up. This was from Vitalik. Hey V, did you see what's going on in the chat? Vitalik walked over and didn't answer when he saw the messages, but his fa face turned red and his u and it, and his usually peaceful eyes lift lit up with anger. Without saying anything, he got his laptop set up, went into another room, and started typing. No need for those accusations. He wrote. Ethereum is user agnostic. If banks want to use it, then that's great. If banks want to use it, then that's great. It was all it was always about the banks, guys. What's funny to you, what's funny is that the Bitcoin maxis, such as Max Kaiser, the ETH maxis, have always stated that we're going against the system. But if the banks use it, that's great. It's user agnostic, by the way. Hmm. Interesting contradiction, isn't that? I suppose his defense, uh, his defense will be that he really and truly believes that Bitcoin is good for people, so it's okay for him to advocate forcing his judgment on others. But of course, Bitcoin's critics will say the same thing. They may even believe it. It's still cynical paternalism. What is inconsistent from Johnny Deaton is that so many Bitcoin maxis fancy themselves uh, libertarians and then applaud or celebrate the massive and gross. Uh, overreach by the SEC exactly so here comes Max Kaiser right he had to reply of course SEC is quote-unquote overreaching but that won't stop them from killing off XRP and every other S coin whoa except Bitcoin of course it's untouchable guys wow Bitcoin is untouchable huh this is how I know the opposite will always occur I'm going to gobble up. I'm going to gobble up Max Kaiser's Bitcoin when it hits one to three k or goes down not minus ninety nine percent. Their time is coming, guys. He literally stated that they're going to kill off XRP and every other S coin. Um, XRP has already gotten the green light by who? The banks, right? Not to mention it, it has gotten clarity. Well, of course, the uh, ripple portion of the case is still ongoing, but. All we needed was the conclusion of the XRP portion, the XRP side. That's what the case was all about in the beginning of time.
right? So I don't know why he's, he's attacking XRP at full force here, guys. There's something brewing. Again, it's time to fight the FUD. Now, he goes on because there is virtually no rule of law whatever, uh, whatsoever in Wall Street Finance for those with the dollars and clouds. Brad Garlinghouse has been spreading a lot to, to keep his Ponzi scheme going, but he can't outspend the Feds and Jamie Dimon. It's just a matter of when, not if when XRP gets cut down. Wow. This just, I, I like Mac, Max Kaiser because just because he's going against XRP, we need this guys, right? The more people that goes against Ripple and XRP, the more fuel to the fire XRP has to prove them wrong. I'm not making this stuff up. Right, Max, the SEC can't quote unquote kill XRP. Exactly. I mean, let us go back here. From Pomp, if you think Bitcoin went on a tear once CNBC institutional and institutional investors learn about it, just wait till they discover Ripple and XRP. Max replied, that "Now it begins, guys. So this is where it starts getting heated up." It starts heating up from Max Kaiser. XRP specialized as, as you can plainly see from the pattern, right? Now he's screaming, guys. <laughs> this is absolutely just ridiculous. Okay. But Max, um, are you okay? Are you okay over there? Because the government already knows who Satoshi is, and did they and did they already meet with them? Not him or her, but with them, multiple people. Not to mention, Max, is everything okay there? XRP solves what? It solves this right here, guys. Max Kaiser, is everything okay? At the largest Bitcoin mine in America, Riot Blockchain in Texas computes that many mathematical alg uh, algorithms every second in a global race to secure the next block of the blockchain. Max Kaiser, I can't even hear you when this, when all these Bitcoin miners are turned on and they're so damn loud. I even have to put the volume so low. Come on, guys. Um, is everything okay? Right. So, obviously, there's something brewing with XRP and Bitcoin, guys. There's going to be some type of ritual. In my humble opinion, in the future, not now. Maybe, probably during that, during the financial meltdown, during that great catastrophe, which is the collapse. Next things next. Was the XRP ledger centralized from the start? Ripple community debates. Right. Look, look at that XRP army, guys. I'm so proud. Right. I love it when when everyone attacks the XRP community or the XRP army. Because we stand up for ourselves, right? For this type of technology. Because we see the truth, guys. Honestly, I love it though. When when there's always a opposite opinion, I love it. It just it just it just feels good. From Matt Hamilton, it's it's it really is amazing how uh, dumb you are that you propagate this nonsense. The pattern you talked about was literally two decades before XRP, and yet you think it was about XRP? Go harder. Right. So, what do you guys think? Let's get all different sides of, uh, of the scale, guys, of the spectrum here, right? Of the opinions. Of opinions, because David Schwartz comes out, this is such an incredibly stupid argument. I have no idea how I could possibly respond to it other than to laugh. Right. So then, what is the, what is uh, this patent even about? What does this imply? Schwartz patent submitted in August 1988. You know what this tells me, this patent? That Bitcoin was a test. Bitcoin was a test to some degree, right, to lure everyone in. And, and obviously, we're heading towards a, a new world. That's why they had to lure everyone in. But XRP supposedly, in my in my view, is the real deal. That's just my opinion. This video is, is going to be an hour long. I'm going to have to cut it short, guys. I may have to make a part two or 2.0 version tomorrow or some other day, actually. Because it's just, look at all the taps up above, guys. It's just, I don't think we can even get to half of them today. 
but the foot the foot is too strong guys <laughs> the foot is too strong so now Schwartz, pa uh, Pat Schwartz Patton submitted in August 1988 details a distributed network of computers for data processing which e which e with with each node managing a portion of the data while it doesn't explicitly mention blockchain or the XRP ledger the striking resemblance between the Patton's description and the validation process in today's XRP ledger is undeniable and then this is where Max came into play right then we see right here so much to unpack everyone's attacking oh even even the ETH people are attacking XRP guys look at this he has Ethereum in his name can't make that stuff up I told you their time has come as long as XRP cannot answer who the F run their centralized nodes XRP is never a legitimate tool for any entity oh and don't forget to learn this Ripple solution is not XRP don't let Brad Garlinghouse screw your head while dumping on your face Wow. Right. <laughs> so, for, let's go to the uh, validators right here, guys. Right, They're talking about um, the nodes, centralized nodes, supposedly, quote-unquote centralized nodes. So here's all the um, validators, as we can see, guys, right? But the thing is, they're all over the world, right? Or, shall we say... Look at all these um people who have their validators up. You guys can check out their names, right? AU, Bitru, um, that's an exchange. A few other exchanges, I believe. Um, Ripple themselves. Even in Japan, Tuo Labs, right? All these other people, guys. So if that's a little bit confusing, let us talk about and let us explain it further in detail on what this all means from David Schwartz. Of course, he's the architect, so he would know. Once again, the, what validators do for the XRP ledger, for XRP ledger, there is there is one and one only way to interact with XRPL, and that's through a node. If you interact with XRP ledger and don't run a node, someone else is running a node for you that you're interacting with, and you are at least to some extent trusting that person. To some extent, trusting that person. Don't want to trust anyone run your own node guys right so of course it's decentralized just from that point just from that statement it's decentralized but maybe there's a twist guys at the end I don't know right um, all XRP ledger state is public all transactions are public all transaction rules are public if your node isn't broken it knows these three these three things your node doesn't need validators to tell what transactions are valid. It already knows the stats itself. Your node doesn't need validators to tell what transactions do. It, it can work that out for itself. All honest nodes will automatically agree on these things because they are system rules. The only problem you can't solve without validators is a double spend problem. Someone can submit two equally good but conflicting transactions to the network. I'm just laughing because I can't believe Max Kaiser is attacking XRP again. It's just hilarious uh, on the back of my mind. But someone can submit two equally good but conflicting transactions to the network and you need some way to agree on which one of them to permit and which to reject. Note that there is no particular uh, reason particular reason anyone should care which transaction succeeds and which fails. We just need to agree because otherwise the system would break. This That is literally the only reason XRPL XRP Ledger needs validators to break ties to allow honest nodes to stay in agreement about who holds which assets in case of equally valid but conflicting transactions. For convenience, XRPL uses validators for other things too, particularly co coordinating the uh, activation of network features, but this is not a governance function. Interesting, the validators cannot force nodes to accept features they are unwilling to accept. Right, So everyone needs to agree and then it passes through guys. So, but who knows who's on which side, guys, right? Of course, if Ripple comes out with some type of uh, feature or whatnot, guys, right? Most likely, everyone will agree, but they don't have to, right? At the end, it's always good to see it from a different point of view, guys, right? It's always good to sometimes contradict yourself. Things are centralized. In the future, I've always hated this, guys. 
In the future, I believe everything will be centralized but decentralized at the same damn time. Not financial vice. Let's fight the FUD. Not financial vice and not financial vice. Things are getting pretty hectic, aren't they? But anyways, I hope you guys made this. See ya. Wow.